All right, hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we're just going to be uh, going to the Bay Trading Hub. So for up at this uh, career agent place that we landed at, right? All we have to do, <coughs> all that we did was uh, go to the right, left, search regional market, search for Plex. So just go to a pilot license, search for Plex, and search for Jitta. So it's just a uh, set destination. It would be a Jitta I4 Mood 4 Caldera Assembly Plat. So we could probably even uh, bring everything with us, right? We could bring everything out. There's uh, no need to no need to put it in there. So we just undock from the station, and then it's gonna be four jumps away. And then from there, we could try to find some uh, <coughs> find some science facility. Try to find a science facility to try to do some jobs. Seems like there's people attacking people out here. Where's all right? So if they try to attack us and if they uh, kill us. They try to attack us and kill us. We don't have to uh, warp back here at Levin Jumps. <coughs> that would suck, right? We uh, warped all the way over here. They allow us to uh, change our home station. So we don't have to uh, warp <coughs> 11 Jumps. So we're going to go there. So while we're going there, if you open up the uh, Industry tab, Industry tab, go to Industry, then we can search for Facilities. So I want to go to facilities, current system, probably say within five jumps. And we just want to find a good uh, research center. <coughs> I think it's probably the same thing, right? Is it still a tranquility perimeter research? That's going to be done. So we got something uh, cooking. It's going to be ready in nine minutes. So we just got to make sure. Oh, tranquility uh, training tower, tranquility research labs. Here we go. Here's where everything is. Tranquility at Research Tower, Tranquility Research Labs. So this is exactly where we need to go. This is where we need to go. Tranquility Research Lab, Tranquility Trading Tower. This is pretty much uh, the secondary place everyone does their training. So instead of going to uh, Jitta, <coughs> we could just go uh, straight here probably. Although we probably should go to Jitta. We should use Jitta as our uh, main place to base, right? Just in case anything happens to that station, it's blown up or something. We're not sure. <clears throat> we usually always just uh, base at this place. I think it's uh, Stelman Fine, right? Tranquility Fighter Factory. Tranquility uh, Trading Tower. I think that Trading Tower has always been there, right? Oh, it's going up at the best because we're getting closer to it. Just literally just a uh, one jump for the main trading hunt. And once we go there, then we just have to literally uh, buy some blueprints, put them into a job to research, and then they'll become uh, fully research blueprints. So we can even do that from day one, right? This is the first day. This is the first day. <coughs> so here's the uh, work into the Jada Bay Trade Hub. So these guys, if they try to uh, scan you, they're just scanning your cargo to see if you're uh, pulling anything. So actually, in that uh, one video, when we were uh, scanning ships without them even knowing that we're scanning them, they could be uh, scanning your ship and looking at your cargo hold, and they know exactly what you have, and if you're hauling something expensive, they can blow you up and take it. So we're just uh, going with nothing. Oh, we're not at it yet. These are just people uh, guarding the gates, watching for people to blow up. So we've probably already been scanned down, and they probably already know what we have. They already know what we got. So we just have to go to this uh, Jitta place, dock at the station. And we could just uh, deposit everything there. <coughs> so all this stuff here, we have uh, less than a billion dollars. If we're probably looking for stuff with people with uh, more than a billion dollars. People with uh, lots of things. Something we can do as we arrive at the station is hit this uh, afterburner. And we'll be able to travel faster to it. <coughs> so the main thing is this is the main trading hub. This is where trading do. People come here, they uh, blow up ships. Blow up ships. Blow up ships to try to get loot. Someone's going to be targeting and scattering us because we did an uh, instant talk. Oh, they let us through. They let us through without blowing us up, right? So as long as we got here, we're a hundred percent safe. <coughs> so our food's ready at uh, three forty-five. So we got six minutes. 
All right, so this is the uh, Caldari Maid Trading Cub. So it made it look so sick, right? Look how sick the uh, Caldari Davy uh, Judy Maid Trading Cub looks like. Look at it. Look at it. It's amazing. So what we can do, <coughs> this is the Maid Trading Cub where everyone trades everything. Let's just bring everything from our inventory, put it here. We need uh, antimatter charges. We need radio charges so we can shoot things with. And we could even uh, get a different ship. <coughs> we get different ships as we do the uh, career agents. But if we uh, emptied everything, we just got some ammo. We just got some uh, stuff fit here. So what we want to do, uh, if we go to uh, personal assets, if we wanted to go back to our uh, home station, it's just lemon jumps here, right? If we wanted to find our home station where all of our stuff was, or go back there, we go to personal assets. We should just have things in two stations, right? Just the uh, Federal Navy Academy. Uh, set our destination there. 11 jumps if we want to go back. This is where uh, all of our stuff is, right? All of our ships anyways. We took everything else with us. And we just have stuff at the Jinnah Main Trading Hub. So that's how we want the inventory to look like. We could have uh, stuff all over the galaxy at different stations. And then there's just a big, huge list of things. But the way we have it, we just have stuff at the Jinnah Main Trading Hub. <clears throat> so since we're in the Jinnabe Trading Hub, let's uh, say we have unclaimed items. Let's uh, claim everything here except for the uh, booster, I think, right? So we just uh, claim everything here. We just uh, start going for the bottom, right? You just uh, click, then shift click. Be like, uh, we could redeem this stuff. This is just stuff that are going to inventory. We could uh, redeem these crates. These crates are going to be uh, really hard to transport around, so. We're gonna keep that this venture skin. I think it uh, goes your inventory, right? Yeah, it goes your hanger. And uh, the venture, we could get that. Then uh, we just left these things here. So maybe we can come back and look at these things. This uh, catalyst crate is just uh, this is just the thing we got for buying that membership for sixty dollars, right? It gives you a one month membership, and inside this uh, catalyst crate is a uh, one hundred plex and that uh, ship skin. And I think a ship as well. <clears throat> and then this is just the stuff that we got from the uh, daily login event. So if it's uh, not Halloween, there's no event, you're not going to be able to get this. You'll just be getting the starter gift, which is alright. So we have that thing. We still have uh, three things in the redeem. Everything's, uh, everything's in the inventory here, right? <clears throat> so we got all these. He gave us some new uh, ships and modules. We were to go everything, right? We just uh, select everything, repackage. And stack everything. And everything's uh, neatly stacked. So I have to come back here and organize it. We got uh, new ships, right? Amicus, Venture. So let's just uh, go to that place. <coughs> if you go to Industry, you go to the uh, Research, right? Primitive Research, Tranquility uh, Research Labs. Looks like this would be the best place to do research. So we uh, set destination here. It's just uh, one jump away. It's just one jump away. So we don't have anything in our inventory except for ammo anymore. So we're gonna have to leave in like two minutes. <clears throat> so as long as we're docked up in this station. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to see it in there, right? On the left hand side, right, right click and say jump through gate. Just cause there's so many ships here. So many ships. We're not going to be able to scroll down and get to this at a good time. And then once we get there, we just have to uh, dock. We just have to dock at the station. Food's ready. And then we'll be back. And then we'll start getting uh, invention. We'll start doing uh, science. We'll start getting our science blueprints researched from day one. Yeah, this is just gonna be like 10 minutes, that's it. <clears throat> so we're 10 minutes into the video. The rest is just gonna be uh, setting up uh, industry jobs. So it's just dock here. Dock at this place. And this is gonna be one of our uh, brand new favorite home stations. Which is also the uh, production center for doing production, for doing industry. There's the uh, trade center for people uh, trading over here if they don't want to trade at Jitta. <clears throat> so we can even like uh, sell things here. We can even sell things here for more than we could at Jeddah. It's just it would uh, sell less often because everyone goes to Jeddah. 
So maybe it'd make more sense just to sell things over there. Because now we're docked up at the station. We're going to leave. There's that. There's the alarm. Alright, we're back. So we had some food. We took a break a little bit, right? So you can see server shuts down in 49 minutes. So that's alright. Server doesn't even shut down that long. So what we want to do is uh, we're in the research center, right? We can open up uh, industry, facilities. We're in the tranquility research labs. So it's a pretty much just the uh, main research center for Jinnah. It's a player-owned station. So players uh, own this station. <clears throat> this station is actually owned by other players or a corporation. And they just have it uh, set up right by the main trading hub. And they allow people to do uh, research. As we'll see when we uh, actually research them, we'll show you the differences uh, between doing them at uh, this one and doing uh, research at a different station. Same with uh, production too, right? Maybe we could do uh, production at the Kaldari place. Maybe we could do production over there. Over here. <clears throat> We're not sure. Maybe we could do production here. So it's just everything in perimeter. <coughs> also has the uh, production center too. Yeah, the production center. So this has uh, extra bonuses to when you're uh, producing things here. So I guess we do just stay here. Material consumption, job duration. It just makes uh, jobs 20% faster. It just makes jobs 20% faster so you can produce more things. So what we were looking at was uh, science jobs. So they only let you do uh, one science jobs, one industry jobs, one reaction jobs. So we can just do one of them in order to increase science jobs. We need to get a laboratory operation. So it's just a few details. I think it was uh, 500,000, right? So we're not going to be able to buy it here. 500,000. We just want to go to one of the schools, right? It's uh, sort by jumps. There's uh, a... <coughs> we don't want to go to the Jinnah one. We want to go to what? That's like uh, two jumps away, maybe. So let's go over here. Set destination. Since it's a 1.0 system leading to a 1.0 system. So we just have to uh, go buy this book. We just have to go buy the skill book. <coughs> so just 500,000. We're going to have to uh, do it on our alt accounts. So we just uh, do the same thing, right? Just uh, warp. All you have to do is warp. And then we can uh, come back here, throw some uh, blueprints to be researched. Then maybe uh, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow we can set up our alts to do the same thing. All we have to do is get our alts 500k, which was just uh, doing Project Discovery. Project Discovery got them 500k each. Or you could use them to run uh, career missions. Just get them to run some uh, career missions. Then they get the uh, Laboratory Operation Skill Book. And then they start training a uh, Laboratory Operation. So we're not sure what we're thinking. We we're thinking about maybe uh, pausing the queue. <coughs> I think it probably is a good idea to pause the queue, right? You have your uh, main account there. You have your main account. Your main account can trade skills, which is uh, this one, but our alt accounts count can't. <coughs> so what we can do is pause trading on here. Get the uh, skill book for science, right? Science, laboratory operation. Laboratory operation on our alts, get them. Pause trading our maid, trade a laboratory operation on them so they can do some extra science jobs, and then uh, resume trading on this character. So we're gonna have to pause trading on here, trade out the one alt, pause trading on there, and then uh, trade out the next alt. So you might uh, find something to trade for two days, right? You could also like uh, trade some other skills. I think another good one was uh, remote sensor linking, right? They can even uh, buy these skill bucks there. <clears throat> they can even buy these skill bucks at the uh, career agent place, that's right. Because the career agent place is actually a school. So they don't even have to move anywhere. <coughs> they don't have to go anywhere. Laboratory operation. We just have to make sure to buy them this skill tomorrow. We just have to buy them that. Because now we arrived at the station. So all these different things. We can uh, look at the planets later, right? It uh, might make sense to do some uh, planetary interaction. It might make sense to do it just to get a little bit of uh, extra income. <coughs> just a little bit of extra income over here. 
plus a little more things to do, right? Just so we can uh, explore more of it. Because the uh, main thing we wanted to do was get into uh, industry. So if we open the skill book, go to the science skill tab, you would see laboratory operation, view market details. This station costs 500,000. All right. So it just costs 500,000 for that. And that's it. So just open the inventory. Go to your laboratory operation, we can inject it. If you're a free to play account, you can't get this skill. But if you're a member skill, you uh, definitely should get this skill. <clears throat> you definitely should get it. Just like eight minutes. That's it, eight minutes, and then 39 minutes, and then three hours and 40 minutes. Just to be like a uh, priority skill. And what we need to get on uh, advanced laboratory operation. Is it just a uh, five? Yeah, advanced laboratory. So scientific uh, networking. This is the one that allows us to do it remotely, right? Uh, allows scale can you start jobs with the solar system? All right. So we need to get this skill. <coughs> we need to get this skill. Before we get this, we need to get a uh, laboratory operation at level four. So if we're uh, getting into science, we're getting into industry, if we wanted to like uh, build ships, build ammunition, build uh, weapons, pretty much uh, build anything in the game and then sell it to other players. Or if we just wanted to uh, build it to use for ourselves or something. Before before we do that, <coughs> before we do that, we need blueprints, which is with uh, science, pretty much with science. I think, uh, I think over here, right, production. Industry four percent to manufacturing time. Pretty sure there's something that did uh, manufacturing time and blueprints. Maybe it is the science tree. <coughs> so what all can we get? Right? Is there a way to change it to all skills? Let's say uh, CAD trail have prerequisites for. So we can actually make the list simpler, right? Instead of uh, showing all of these skills, let's say I uh, have prerequisites for, and then uh, even if we don't have the skill book, it'll show us that we need it, right? This just shows us exactly what we need. This shows us uh, just the skills we need. It reminds you, right? You did a uh, metallurgy, 5% bonus to material efficiency research. Research, 5% uh, to manufacturing type research. And scientific networking. This allows you to do jobs remotely. We just need laboratory operation level four. That's it. So let's just see if we buy this book. Scientific networking cost ten billion dollars. All right, let's uh, skip out on the scientific networking book. So we need a uh, ten billion for that. We could come back when we have some extra money. Metallurgy though, <coughs> we can learn metallurgy for five hundred thousand. As long as we don't have the skill book. Yep. So you can buy a metallurgy, 500,000. Here we go. And then we can buy research. So we can also buy the research skill book for 500,000. Then we have uh, both of those ones. So we're actually going to uh, research these things. This will help them uh, research faster. Pretty sure there was a uh, one that increased them even further. I thought there was something that did like uh, increase the uh, speed. Let's check this one. Let's just throw some industry out here. <clears throat> we'll just throw industry because we're interested in getting to industry in the future. Does it uh, unlock something? Mass production, mining connections. Happy records for. Yeah, there's nothing here. Supply chain management. There's nothing here. Not advanced industry. Manufacturing times. Oh, manufacturing times add research levels. Allows basic operation of factory. 4% reduction in uh, manufacturing time. And this does a uh, reduction in all manufacturing and research times. Alright, so it's advanced industry. So what level do we need to get that? So we just need industry 3, that's it, right? <coughs> so we just need to get uh, industry 3. This unlocks up ads industry, which helps us uh, research blueprints. And they already uh, gave us this. They gave us the skill book for completing one of those uh, quests back there, right? So we just throw this up here, right? If that's industry, I think you actually want a connection to the top, maybe. Or maybe not. Laboratory operation is really good. 
Laboratory Operations, good scale. <coughs> That's a good one. That's Laboratory Operation, 3% reduction in uh, manufacturing time. So throw these here 10 hours. Now it takes two days. And that should be good. That should be good for the industry tab. Yeah, so we just got a laboratory operation four, which unlocks a scientific networking, which you can't get yet. And it allows us to uh, run one extra job. <coughs> it's just a uh, unlocks advanced industry, which makes jobs research quicker. Then we got uh, connections. We didn't get that yet. Then we go to science. And we can throw the uh, metallurgy ones on, right? <coughs> we go here, have prerequisites, and we just want the metallurgy. Material efficiency, manufacturing time. Material efficiency takes longer. So consider that, right? It's going to take longer. We're not in the uh, rush to make them. We know it's going to take a while to get the uh, actual materials to be able to make them with. So let's do that. Throw this uh, after this, right? Research one could go down here. Maybe just uh, focus on the research for now. Focus on that. I'll take like 20 hours to do that one. Take 20 hours to do that. So just take it off. Metallurgy. We throw metallurgy on, right? <coughs> See, even at the beginning, we're probably going to be doing a bit of uh, both of them, but then uh, later we'll be specializing in them. Spend energy is going to take 10 hours, and then we'll be able to research them 50% faster. <coughs> so those are the uh, science skills we got. Science plus advanced industry, we found the uh, skill we were looking for. And, <coughs> I don't think there's any other skill books we need, right? I don't think there's any other skill books. That's uh, fast production. Allows you to run a one additional manufacturing job. So if you do want to manufacture something, Maybe we do need this. We see the uh, industry three. We're not gonna be manufacturing anything anytime soon, but <coughs> it doesn't take too long to trade, right? Or we'll forget about it. <coughs> we'll forget about it. We need at least uh, some trading cues. So let's put up to three for right now. <coughs> up to two. Let's put it up to two. Let's get level two. And that's it. I wonder if there's uh, anything else we needed. So we came here. We got the uh, laboratory operation skill. Metallurgy research. And if we uh, trade this, we'd be able to get the advanced laboratory operation skill. Which I think uh, costs a lot, right? Let's see how much it costs. <coughs> so it's going to cost uh, 20 billion to get that. So I guess we don't have to worry about uh, laboratory operation 5 at the moment. So like that. We'll just leave it like that. We'll just leave it like that. Then we can do more uh, laboratory jobs. <coughs> so we need to do that for our all characters tomorrow. Get up uh, that scale. Put that scale on the scale tree. And then we see to actually uh, find some blueprints to research. So if we go to blueprints and research, right, we could just uh, start with uh, ammunition, probably. Go to ammunition and charges, we could drag this open to see it better. Let's just start with uh, missiles, baby. Let's just start with light missiles. <coughs> we'll just start with light missiles. So there's uh, four different types. So we sort by jumps. Yeah, there's even some of the station, right? The station even uh, sells the blueprints. So we can buy a uh, <coughs> Inferno Light Missile Blueprint for 160,000. We can buy a Major Missile Blueprint. It all should be a 180,000. They uh, should be available in the station probably. Oh, laboratory operations already complete. We get the uh, Nova Missile. Nova Missile Blueprint. So it's just uh, 140,000. At the uh, Scourge Missile Blueprint. So this was just 150,000. Now we might as well see if we could just get the uh, rocket blueprints, right? <coughs> might as well just get a few of them. Oh, we can't actually uh, get them here, right? How many jumps is it? Two to four, called area, perimeter, boot, called area, navy plant. That's right, it was in the same system. What about uh, missile launchers? <coughs> so we go to ship uh, blueprints. 
blueprints, ship equipment, turrets at base, missile launchers. Maybe we just search for the uh, small ones, right? Late missile launcher. Yeah, it's just 60,000 to get this blueprint. We just have to go to that station to get it. Perimeter 2, Caldera Navy Assembly Plant. So let's just uh, go there. <coughs> we'll go to that place. Or we could uh, go to filter, right? Show all the available. Change the range, and, uh, range to the station. This way I don't just show us uh, only the blueprints that are available here, right? Looks like we get uh, all the light missile blueprints here. We get uh, hybrid chargers small here. So might as well get them, right? So we get this one for 100,000. So all we're doing right now is just uh, collecting all the different blueprints here. <coughs> Says we can get this one here. If we can uh, get it and it's not too expensive, we'll just get it. We got the uh, lead blueprint. So you can see as we go here, right, we're uh, buying them. They go in the inventory. And then we just have to drag them to the ship. And it doesn't even uh, cost too much, right? <coughs> we haven't even spent a billion yet. Got the tungsten blueprint. And if they're not at uh, this station, we just have to uh, fly to one of these other stations that have it. There's a lot of stations at the uh, Jenna place that actually has it. A lot of stations actually sell these nearby. <coughs> so we got tungsten. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got all of them. So we got all of the uh, small hybrid churches. Projectile apple. Carbon uh, S blueprint. That's it. So we could actually uh, get this one here. So we could get this one here. This is the only one that's left. <clears throat> so let's wait to see if we go to a different place to get that, right? Start available at this station. Uh, ship equipment, harvest equipment, salvagers. So let's just uh, not get too much more or anything on uh, ships. We're not going to get ships or anything. We're not going to make ships. Shield boosters, civilian shield boosters. I think we're just looking for uh, better shield boosters, right? So just uh, stop looking at the station. Let's say within the region. Add that this will just open it up. Right about the uh, solar system, right? This one doesn't change too much. So we can uh, keep uh, <coughs> changing this, go to the region. We'll go to where we're going to go to pick up the rest of the stuff. Or we can take this to the uh, perimeter, right? We didn't, uh, we didn't leave anything there. <coughs> we didn't leave anything. We go to industry, we're going to have to find it, but it uh, might not be here. There it is, particularly uh, research labs. <coughs> so all we do is set the destination to here. Set it to the research labs, bring uh, everything in the inventory. These are just uh, blueprints, right? We don't have too much. Undock, go back to the uh, Tranquility Research Labs. And then we can uh, start researching them. And we can just start researching them over there. <coughs> we just research them. So once we get this all set up on our uh, main character, right? Then we'll uh, get it set up on our alt characters. This will just give us uh, a lot more research spots. <coughs> so instead of uh, researching like uh, four blueprints at once. Instead of researching uh, five blueprints at once. We could research 15 blueprints at once. And later, if we uh, really get into manufacturing, instead of uh, doing five jobs at once, we could do 15 jobs at once. Say so the way to get the skills higher, right? <coughs> so we could get up to uh, nine, nine or ten jobs. <coughs> ten jobs is the most you could get. I think uh, 10 jobs is the most you can get per character. Although, usually you stop at like uh, 9. Usually the uh, final level takes a long. So instead of just having a uh, 9 jobs, instead of just having 9 jobs going, we can have uh, 27 jobs. So that's just uh, 3 times the amount of jobs for all of these, right? For uh, science, add production, science, production, add reactions. You can have three characters do them just for uh, three times, three times the stuff. 
especially good because of the duration, right? All these things uh, take so long to research. The main thing we were going there for was the uh, skill book. We went to the uh, school to get the skill book, but I believe these uh, blueprints are actually available in the same system, right? If you search marketplace, oh, we didn't want to do that. If you search marketplace for uh, blueprints, ah, uh, in the solar system, <coughs> they'd pretty much all be here. Yeah, they'd just be uh, one jump away in the system. So we can even get these blueprints here. We don't even have to leave the system for the blueprints. Since we're in the uh, Tranquility Research Labs. We just throw these here for right now. <coughs> so these are just the original blueprints. Then we go to Industry over here. And then we we'll want to go to Blueprints. Then we just want to take any of them, right? Maybe start with uh, missile blueprints. Maybe they uh, take a bit longer. So you just want to do like uh, material efficiency research. Job duration is going to be one day, 15 hours. 16 hours. <coughs> so that's alright. So if we just leave this here, if you're doing this in a different facility, right? One day, 15 hours. Two days. If you're doing this in a, this place, it would take two days to research this. One day, 15 hours. There's good blueprint or good uh, rigs there, right? Two days to do it. So I think if we do it at a regular station, if there is something, it would take uh, two days and 23 hours to do it. Two days and 12 hours. Two days, 23 hours. Two days and 12 hours. Two days, 12 hours. Two days, 23 hours. So normally, if you do this at a normal station uh, without rigs, it would take two days and uh, 23 hours at most. <coughs> It could take longer. I think there's like other ones. I think uh, those aren't even uh, what about uh, public facilities? Oh. If you're just looking at a material efficiency research, so there should be some uh, NPC stations, right? It's not just all research at uh, player owned stations. You don't just do research at player and own stations, that's not it. Is it? Two days, 23 hours. Corporate police force. Okay. So I guess this would be a regular station. This would be a player uh, NPC station, not owned by a player. Makes uh, plans and blueprints that are shipped to assembly plant. Member of the Caldari State. Yes, this station would be a regular station, not owned by another player. So if you were to do this uh, blueprint at uh, this station, just a regular station, not owned by a player, two days, 23 hours to fully research that. Say with this one, yeah, two days, <coughs> two days, 23 hours. And if we were to produce them as well, right? I don't think this is a production plant. This isn't a production plant. But the main thing, we're at the Tranquility Research Labs. So we just click on the Material Efficiency button. Click on Jobs to 10. And this thing will be researched in uh, one day, 15 hours. So it'll be even quicker once you get these skills, right? We got uh, installed rig, increases uh, speed by 20%. Structured robots increases speed by 30%. So that's why it's uh, so much faster, because this uh, player owned station we're in has uh, rigs, as you see here, right? Structure increased uh, speed by 30% plus 20%, plus the uh, cost of the job goes down by 50%. System cost index is really high. Material efficiency research tax is really high. But uh, 7,000 ISK isn't a lot of money to actually uh, spend to do this for what we get in return. So we just put this here. And what this does is increase the material efficiency, right? Or there's a time efficiency, we have to raise both of them. This has to go to 10, which we're raising it to 10 right now. So you just hit the start button. And we go to blueprints. And uh, might as well just get uh, this ammunition done, right? So we just do the same thing. 
drops up to 10, it'll be done in uh, one day 15 hours. And once we get these uh, metallurgy scales and advanced industry, we'll be able to research them even uh, faster in the near future. So we got two jobs out of two jobs. These will be done in one day 15 hours. And if we uh, train up our laboratory operation, <coughs> we'll be able to do an extra job. So that'll have to be tomorrow, right? Service shutting down. <coughs> We're not going to be back here to do another job here. But in the uh, item hangar, we can just leave these here for now. Once these are done uh, researching, we can complete them. And then we can uh, research do something else. So once we get back, right, we'd uh, take the blueprints. Take the blueprints. They'd be researched. Then we do a uh, time efficiency research. Then we get a uh, time efficiency research up to 20. And then both of these will be maxed. So if we show information... So these would be maxed. So then we'd have uh, fully researched blueprints. So that'd be the thing you're trying to do with that. As soon as you get into it, <coughs> just start uh, researching blueprints. And then with that, you'll be able to actually produce uh, ammunition with these blueprints in the near future. So we got that figured out. Server recess is 23 minutes. So we can't really uh, do any missions. So we can't do any missions that the server will restart in the middle of the mission. Gotta figure out what to do. We're at the uh, training center. We already redeemed everything at Jina. I guess that was it. We got our characters set up for science. That was this video. <coughs> this was how to get uh, science to get uh, ready for industry.